So, The Twelve Faces of the Goddess by Danielle Blackwood. Now, this one is more of the zodiac signs. So, like, Aries all the way. It starts with Aries and, yeah, goes on into the whole cycle. Each zodiac sign, each 12 zodiac signs is, uh, not 12, but whatever. Each zodiac sign is its own chapter. You got, yeah, 12 chapters each. And it talk, part one talks about the astrological magic. It, the first part is in divided into four chapters and part two goddess throughout the signs. So instead of Aries, your bull and all this other stuff, here's what you are. So instead of going through the different types of figures that these astrological signs are, they're replaced as one single form, the goddess. So there's a small, like, one-page conclusion and then a bibliography. As the su title suggests, it is a focus, quotation, small quotation here, focus on the sacred feminine in of the sacred feminine and the lives of women all are welcome. So it isn't just for women. Men can read and get something out of this book as well because a lot of the things talked about concerning the sign aren't just female specific. So men and women can get information from what is being talked about in the book. And it talks about the elements and diff like different modes like cardinal, um, mutable, and other topics like, and sabbats and ritual basics are talked about throughout because like there'll be a ritual, a few res recipes, mainly like oils and incense are placed throughout the book in relation to the ritual uh, and so it talks about different things about the sign there's uh, different aspects and a few different things covered in a few different paragraphs love exercise there's path working and then a ritual so you got the, here's like seven to ten different things, the path working and then the ritual. So there's a small chunk. It's very brief, uh, like five, seven different correspondences connecting to that sign. Then you got the one page conclusion and then it's done so I uh, like yeah for me it's a nice little flip through but for me for as for me as somebody that isn't fully connected to working astrology or like my sign into my magic. I don't see myself getting the physical copy of this book, but for some who want to have that goddess feminine connection to the signs, this could work as a small bridge or a small gap, small stream. <laughs> into connecting the two aspects of the goddess and the transition like you can almost if you want <laughs> a transition between the signs as this one goddess as the title title suggests the 12 faces of the goddess as one person 
or if you just want to say no. An Aries is separate from a Libra, is separate from a Scorpio, is separate from Pisces and whatever, and you can leave it alone as well <laughs> if you want. But yeah, so if you are somebody again, if you wanna if you are somebody that wants to kind of like merge those two, this could be a book to look in this would be a book to look into as a jumping off point to do so. So The Twelve Faces of the Goddess by Danielle Blackwood back wool. Make sure I get this right. Yeah, black wood. Don't want to. Okay. So anyway, happy readings.